and liftoff. Liftoff of Tim Coper, Yuri Malenchenko, and Timothy Peake on their way to the International Space Station. Our Earth is absolutely beautiful. When I've been taking photographs at the cupola, which is a set of six windows in a circle and a large window in the center, when I look down on the planet, sometimes it is completely breathtaking. The, uh, the clouds on the horizon, when we see the sunrises and sunsets, sometimes they look like they're out of a science fiction movie. They're just so surreal, the, the thin lines of colors. Watching thunderstorms at night that cover the large portion of a, of a continent, seeing the roads that connect the different cities. In contrast to how beautiful our planet is, when it's daytime and your eyes can't see the stars, the black that you see really is, it's, uh, it's stunning. It's like a new kind of black. I'm an EMBA global. The first thing that comes to mind are my classmates and the time that we spent together, both during and after our classes in London, and also the faculty and how they taught us and guide us through the whole process. But when I think back on my time at LBS, it helped me to identify the areas in which I'm passionate. I also came full circle and more clearly recognized that I wanted to continue my work as an astronaut and return to the International Space Station. Thankfully, my management agreed, and, and shortly after LBS, I began training for this space flight as a crew member during Expedition 46, and then later on as commander of Expedition 47. We're a small team here, but actually the team that makes this human space flight possible is a tremendously large team. For both this small team and also the extended team, I think the most important aspects really are trust. Trust is fundamental for any effective group, whether it's a small one or a large one, and then respect for each other, because from respect comes your actions and how you look out for each other. It's a little bit different here in that, you know, we have a chain of command, but by and large, it's very egalitarian in terms of our, our uh, relationship and our work. You know, the one time that it becomes, you know, much more straightforward in terms of the chain of command is in emergency situations. If that occasion does occur, by having that ability for us to be in tune with each other and to understand each other closely, it, it makes it that we can be much more effective. Both hands down the rest. When I was six years old, we were landing men on the moon. How cool is that, right? Uh, being a six-year-old and watching these people do something that no one has ever done before. For me, it really lit a fire, and it was a fire that, uh, as a child, was you know just a foolish childhood dream, that childhood dream of becoming an astronaut and flying in space. Completely ridiculous, right? Uh, but, but having big goals like that and big dreams like that is a huge motivator. And so I think it's, it's important that, that, uh, that nations and the international community sets big goals so that we can demonstrate that we can do these great things. What it did for me and what I think it can do for other young people is it makes this very strong and realistic connection between math and science and engineering, which sounds like a school subject, to something that's real, like this International Space Station. I remember flying away from Space Station last time I was here and uh, talk about breathtaking. Look at this enormous structure that was built by an international team. I mean, it's, it's almost an impossible thing to imagine how beautiful and how complex this space station is when you fly away from it. There is time to be uh, philosophical up here, and, and you can look out the window and, uh, and you see places on the Earth. And if you know somebody there, I have friends now, especially through my, uh, my relationship with fellow students and faculty at London Business School. I feel like I know people all over the planet. And so for me, it has a special meaning, but it's also really nice from this perspective to be able to see the big picture and focus on what really is important. And I think, you know, when you spend six months away from family, you start to recognize uh, even more so how important and how vital that is as a part of life. Yeah, it's a tremendous experience. I feel very lucky.